Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some interesting things to go over. Ridley Koo has been posting once again. We have some pretty big data mines to take a look at. Some new Legends Z A rumors have also popped up. There's a lot of things to break down and get into. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's just quickly go over what Riddler Koo has been posting. Uh, the first tweet doesn't really mean anything. He's just making a joke about the uh, Unovian mouse hold. Um, but then, he then goes on to talk about the starters a tiny bit. I mean, we have Steelix here kind of tweeting out saying, Hey Koo, have you heard anything new about the ZA starter Pokemon or the starter details? And he says, cooking. So, I don't know if that means that he's going to be like cooking up some riddles soon. And then he's going to actually obviously post a little bit of information about it. I don't know if it means that like Game Freak are cooking and they're about to reveal the starters, maybe at Worlds or something like that. Um, I don't really know what else he could really mean by that, but either way, it looks like we're getting closer and closer to the starter reveal. Hopefully it is at Worlds this weekend um, or before that, fingers are crossed. But uh, yeah, just a little bit of an update there regarding the starters. He has obviously in the past said that they've been doing like the merch and stuff like that. So the starters will be revealed this year and everything like that. Again, you could choose whether you believe him or not. He hasn't really given any concrete information. All he's really said lately is that Legend ZA is coming out after A. So that could be April or August, obviously, next year. But apart from that, he hasn't really said anything about the game because it's obviously a very dry year. That's what he said. But either way, make of that what you will. Do you think that means that the starters are going to be getting revealed soon? And also, what do you think the starters are going to be for Legend ZA? Uh, moving on, though, we do have some pretty huge data mines to go over regarding Dynamax in Pokemon Go. I spoke about this a tiny bit uh, in previous videos. There's like footage and stuff now about uh, this new game mechanic. And uh, again, it needs to be revealed. It is ready to be revealed now. It probably is going to get revealed at Worlds or a, a potential Pokemon Presents. But either way, uh, we have the Pokemon group here, who is, of course, one of the main Pokemon Go data mining kind of like, uh, I guess teams and they say this will be a bit long but it will be interesting so we need to divide it into parts so we are getting closer to the release of dynamax and gigantamax in pokemon go and now we finally have the text this helps us understand a bit more about this mechanic we are also working on simulating some things in the game and we'll show you as soon as everything is ready but here's a spoiler so now we know what the term uh, what the item mp means it is max particles we finally discovered the real name of the stations which are called power spots and then to battle at a power spot, you will need Dynamax Pokemon, which we can catch in the wild. So you can actually catch Dynamax Pokemon in the wild. I don't know what the odds of them are going to be. Um, but to battle at a power spot, you need to battle with Dynamax Pokemon. You can catch Dynamax Pokemon in the wild from visiting power spots. So we will have attack multipliers. So get an attack multiplier based on how many Pokemon are placed at the power spot. We will have three abilities during battles, which is Cheer, Max Guard, and Max Spirit. We also have three new filters for attack categories, which is Max Attack, Max Guard, and Max Spirit. Uh, here are the descriptions of the Max moves. So Max Attack is an extra powerful charge attack. Max Guard is uh, reducing the damage taken from attacks. And then Max Spirit heals the users and allies Pokemon in Max Battles. We also have their descriptions during an upgrade. Um, so it's an extra powerful charge attack. Max Guard, again, create a barrier. Max Spirit raises the spirits of the user and allies Pokemon to recover everyone's HP. And apparently we can Dynamax slash Gigantamax during battles as well, but we'll need a cooldown. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, we will have a daily limit of Max Particles. You can't collect more Max Particles today. So I don't know if that's going to be like the coins where you can only collect like 50 or something. Uh, we will have a leaderboard for Pokemon placed at power stops. Uh, Pokemon placed at power spots um, assist other Pokemon in battle to help defeat the power spot boss. Uh, we'll organize all the posts uh, and post them on the Discord. So this is a bit of an image of what it's going to look like. So like obviously Bread A, Bread, a, uh, bread B, Bread C. Uh, and then we have some more information here. So continuing, we have several tutorials. So you can find powerful Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon at power spots. Uh, you can collect max particles uh, from power spots. You can use them to battle at power spots or train at max moves. You can defeat a power spot boss for a chance to catch them. You will only use max particles if you win the battle. So that's obviously very, very useful. Uh, after you defeat a power spot boss, you can place a Pokemon to help other trainers and earn candy. You can place up to 20 Pokemon at power spots. It's giving me vibes of when the game first originally came out, Pokemon Go, where you could put like a ton of Pokemon in. You could just keep battling them and stuff to make them stronger and stronger. You may encounter a Pokemon after visiting a power spot. The more Gigantamax Pokemon placed at the power spot, the higher chance you may encounter a Wild Dynamax Pokemon. And then this is a nearby tutorial. So your nearby menu has been upgraded. Visit power spots and walk to collect max particles. This is 
literally going to be the text that we see in the game when it does eventually come out. And this is an actual video of what it looks like um, here. So Dynamax is getting closer to Pokemon Go. Um, so we would like to share a small spoiler of what the Dynamax encounter will be like. We know this animation is still not finished. It seems that the red clouds and other effects um, are still missing, but we can already get a good idea of what this mechanic will be like. So are you excited for this? So as you can see in the video, they are about to click on a Bunnelby. And then when they do click on it, it kind of becomes a lot bigger. Uh, and then the catching animation is actually really, really cool as well. So you get like the Dynamax ball. It says Pokeball's powered up. And then you obviously... I don't know, it just says excellent throw, but it didn't look like they'd hit it. So I don't know if it's like the Master Ball, where it's just like an automatic catch like they are in uh, kind of Dynamax and Gigant uh, Dyna Dynamax Adventures and stuff like that and Raids. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool animation. And obviously it says there, um, yeah, you've, you've got the, the Pokemon and everything like that. So that is basically what it's going to look like. Obviously it's not finished yet, but the Dynamax Ball kind of looks really cool. And uh, yeah, the, the whole kind of gimmick looks and sounds like it's going to be a big kind of thing for Pokemon Go. And again, what better time to announce this than at Worlds or in a potential Pokemon Presents. Obviously, I'm recording this before any kind of Presents has been announced. Uh, but either way, that's that. We also have this data mind as well. So I'm not sure if these are going to be like the first Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go in terms of Dynamax and Gigantamax. But it says the following Pokemon had changes in their Gigantamax Pokedex descriptions. So Charizard, Blastoise, no Venusaur, but Meowth, Cinderace, Appleton, Toxtricity, Grimmsnarl, Copperajar, and Urshifu as well. So, again, don't know if this is going to be the first lot that's kind of revealed. I'm assuming Charizard will be, just because it's obviously a fan favorite. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But we're very, very close to this kind of being dropped now. Like I say, we've got video footage, text, documents, everything like that. It's, it's ready to kind of go live. Um, we're just kind of, like I say, waiting for a big event for them to announce it, either during a Pokemon Presents or Pokemon Worlds. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, though, that's all the data mines, and that's obviously what Riddler Koo has got to say. Uh, finishing things off for today's video, we do have a new rumor to go over regarding Legend ZA. Again, it was posted on 4chan, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, it's you know probably fake, let's be honest, but you never know. Uh, it's titled Pokemon Legends ZA uh, by Johnny Game Freak. I don't know. It was posted on the 10th of August. Uh, and they start off by saying, here's some leaks. Been localizing this since February. Enjoy. Um, so it's set 20 years after X and Y. So a more futuristic approach to Pokemon Legends EA. Which again, we're still unaware of when this game is going to be set. Could be set in the past. Could be set in the future. Uh, we really don't know. We've only The only thing we've got to base it on, obviously, is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Which was set in the past. But I don't know. I could definitely see this being a futuristic game as well. Uh, a bunch of characters return. So Sycamore is still the professor. So obviously he's going to be 20 years older. Uh, but Trevor is a budding researcher who is basically your contact throughout the game. Tierno runs a food truck. Shauna is a hairstylist who does Deantha's hair. And then Cena returns. Dexio is lost in time. So, you know, just dropping that bombshell there. And then Bonnie returns as a gym leader. So, yeah, I mean, I... If we do get like a futuristic game, I would actually like it to only be set like 20 years in the future because you get all the same characters, but they're all in like a different place in their lives, different locations, stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, a bunch of characters. Yep, just read that. Uh, similar to uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Pokemon Legends EA is heavy on time travel nonsense. Uh, there's rumor of an ancient beast. So Zygarde living under Lumios, but most consider it a myth. Um, I mean, I think they, they're probably aware of Zygarde, you know, 20 years after the kind of um, situation of X and Y. And also, I don't know what they mean by heavy on time travel nonsense. Like, um, what, what, what do you mean by nonsense? I don't know what that really means there. Uh, the main story involves Luca and Cena investigating Lumios, randomly changing. So buildings, shops, streets, people, etc. Your actions in the game give you certain privileges to suggest development changes to the mayor. However, someone in the past, AZ and Dexio, is messing uh, with this. I don't know why AZ is now suddenly turned evil again 20 years later. Progress will supposedly awaken Zygarde. All this nonsense reawakens Mega Evolution, which has been mostly dormant for some time. So, let me get this straight. This is basically completely going against what we already know about the game. So, we know about the game is that we're going to be kind of rebuilding Lumios or building Lumios up. And this one's talking about some sort of time travel situation where buildings are changing and stuff. I don't know if it's like Into the Spider-Verse where all the different kind of like buildings start changing because of all the different sort of... Um, kind of time dimensions and everything kind of interlocking with each other um or they're just changing like quick i don't really know but this this completely goes against what we're actually expecting to see in the game 
Um, so that's the kind of story stuff. Uh, it says the starter Pokemon are going to be Chikorita, Piplup, and Tepig. So, yeah, carrying on with the Generation kind of 2... Well, no, it's not actually because it's not Gen 2, 5, and... Uh, it's Gen 2, 4, and 5 instead of Gen 2, 5, and 7. Uh, again, a really weird selection of uh, starters here. Uh, Piplup, again, makes the most sense out of every starter just because of the Napoleon situation. Tepig doesn't really make that much sense and neither does Chikorita, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, they each have a Colossian final evolution, so Meganium becomes Grass Ghost. Again, if we get a Meganium form, I feel like it has to be Grass Fairy. It'd just be so much better, but Grass Ghost, I guess that'd be kind of cool. Uh, Embor is going to be Fire Dark, so that's obviously what a lot of people originally wanted Embor to be. And then Empoleon is going to be Water Fighting, and they all have new Megas. I've seen this pop up quite a few times where... These starters are getting new forms and they're then getting new Mega Evolutions as well. I'd much prefer like the Stars Pokemon to get forms and then the Generation 6 Star Pokemon to get Mega Evolutions. Um, I think that'd be a lot cooler. But again, all Mega Evolutions that we get in this game, they're probably not going to be able to use... They're probably not going to be able to be used online for a few years, you know, after this game. Because Generation 10 will probably follow in 2026. Cannot see Mega Evolution being in that game. It's going to have its own gimmick. 2027 will probably be Generation 5 remakes, which may have Mega Evolution. Obviously, Aura's had it. Let's Go Pichu and Eevee had it. Um, but it, it might not have it. You know, it depends. If it's just a faithful remake, it won't have it, just like BDSP didn't. And then after that, who knows? You know, they, they, they could very well do like a Kanto reimagining, a Johto reimagining. So we don't know when we're actually going to get these Mega Evolutions um, in the competitive scene, you know, because there's probably not going to be any online battles in this game. So... Even if the Generation 6 Megas, uh, Generation 6 Stars do get Megas, they're just going to be stuck in this game regardless. Um, it then goes on to say the Zygarde has a new battle only form like Eternatus. This is the only other place you can go. Uh, you go besides Lumios, he basically becomes a moon. So yeah, it's like an Eternamax Eternatus situation, which was cool. It was a kind of like a, a nice kind of one off battle thing. There are five Town Ward representatives. They are basically the gym leaders. Bonnie is one of them. So, yeah, obviously, if it's set in the future, I would expect it to be, like, tough trainer battles, so gym leaders or whatever. Um, don't know. I mean, 20 years later, I don't feel like that's enough time to get rid of, like, a ton of the, the whole kind of situation. So, um, there's now Town Wards instead of, like, what happened to the other gym leaders? Like, what happens to the Elite Four and stuff like that? Um, I don't feel like 20 years is enough, really, to, to change everything. Um, it then says there's new Mega Evolutions, including the final starter forms. Uh, Chestnut, Delphox, and Greninja also get them. So this one is saying that the Gen 6 starters get Mega Evolutions, the starters of the game get Mega Evolutions, and they get new forms as well. Uh, Aegislash, Slash, Hulucha, Trevenant, Gorgeist, Claydol, Octillery, Xerneas, Yveltal, and Zygarde, separate from the Moon form. I don't think Zygarde needs two new forms. It's already got so many. I don't really want it to get more forms. Xerneas and Yveltal, I definitely do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Zygarde doesn't really need a new form. Uh, then goes on to say there are five new Pokemon uh, evolutions of Honchkrow, Crustle, Dragolgi, Doublade, Split, and then Tyrogue, Hitmonchop. Uh, Hitmonchop is a fantastic name. You know, whether this is fake, it probably is. I love Hitmonchop already. That is such a good name. Hitmonlee, Hitmontop, Hitmonchan, Hitmonchop. That'd be so good. I wish that. I, I really hope that's a thing. Uh, aside from start to final evolutions, there are three Colossian forms uh, being a chocolate vanillite line, which is going to be ice ground, a pure fairy Baneri line, and a poison fairy coughing line, which is going to be a perfume bottle. Uh, roughly the same length as Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I, I don't know, man. I feel like even though the game is going to be getting like a longer kind of dev time i still feel like I, th I think it's going to be longer than legends arceus as well even though we are kind of stuck into the city i, I still think it's going to be like i feel like there's going to be loads of stuff to do like loads of completionist things like it's a single player game most likely and i feel like there's just gonna be so many quests to do and loads of things to collect and stuff like that like legends arceus was quite a grindy game trying to get like 100 percent on every single pokedex page because you have to see like magikarp splash 100 times or whatever and so many different pokemon do so many different things loads and loads of times so that was very very grindy and it did get a bit repetitive but i i really hope for this game there's just like i don't know like daily quests or something like that um it then goes on to say there's going to be a new trailer on the 27th of august and it comes out on the 20 uh, it comes out july 2025 so 27th of august is a tuesday um which again is after gamescom so i believe gamescom is uh next week uh yeah gamescom is i think next week and then obviously we've got like one final week of august but again, we're apparently going to be getting a Nintendo Direct this month as well. So when are they going to squeeze that in? Or maybe this is in the Direct 
uh, as a trailer. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, I, I don't think it's true. Um, I think it, it doesn't really mention anything that we actually know about the game already. It's kind of just made its own stuff up. So I'm going to say it's a big old fact, uh, big old fake leak. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. Would, would you like it to be true? Would you like these to be the starters, all these new evolutions, everything like that? Would you like it to be set in the future as well? I wouldn't mind it, but I just, yeah, for me, I just feel like it's going to be set in the past. And let me know your thoughts on everything else that we covered today as well. When do you think they're going to reveal Dynamax for Pokemon Go? And also, what do you think for, uh, that Riddler could obviously means by this? Do you think he's going to cook up a riddle soon? Or do you think Game Freak are going to cook so soon and show the starters? Let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.